my drifter's not frozen yet. Chucky camera! Chucky the camera! Chucky you! Want is like the holly the holly one kind of build in the beginning. Because this bike is everything a Harley rider, apart from all its noise, does not like about Harley Davidson. I am serious. If you think about your dad, he might have ridden old Harley. If you think back to the carburetor Harleys, and before fuel injection. And how they were so rough and, and raw. Still that look, they're high. Um, they were stupidly simple as well. Big American twin in a frame with some brakes and wheels and some dials, and that was it. Hasn't frozen yet. Wow! My drift has not frozen yet. Oh, they themselves. You know what? Whenever, how, when has America ever built a sophisticated V twin? Can't handle the truth! A V twin that can keep up with sports bikes, that can take on the Europeans, the Japanese. And so Harley went to the drawing board, took this engine, they tried to, to make it 130 brake horsepower to the Wheels. They tried to shoot the people up, but they kept seeing the engine over here. And they tried to cool it, nothing worked. What's the matter with that thing? Someone designing the V-Rod, they thought to themselves, it builds really fast cars that you can just think of. So they politely asked Porsche, look, we're trying to build a very powerful V-Twin and we want it to rev up to 10,000 RPM. And a V-Twin, that's fucking unheard of. I am serious. Going 10,000 RPM. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Most V twins rev to about 7, 7, 6.5, that's it. If you went to YouTube and you typed into your search box something along the line, road going, very old steam engine, they work a lot of torque. They don't really rev that hard, they just kind of chug along. Think of that as what most V-Twins are in the world. They don't have any brake horsepower. Porsche went, alright, we have an engine, there's a de designation for it too. You're goddamn wow. right. V-Twin revs up to 10,000 on here. It's powerful, it will give you what you're after. Of course, Harley are like, well, great, we have that engine. Porsche will like, fuck off, no, you can't have that engine. You gotta come here to Germany. That's Harley. What? You gotta send our engineers and our technicians and our designers to Germany. Yeah, 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 you have to come to Stuttgart. Gonna make them an awful game of you. Because Harley are thinking about it. Eventually, I'm sure there's much fighting and disagreements on Harley Davidson. They decided, right, let's send our techs. Mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore! To Stuttgart, effectively, they rented out Porsche's technology. Their software, they test bed the engine, and they were like, wow, this is actually really good. Wow. But it's very European, and of course, Porsche, what's wrong with that? And they're like, you know, it's not very American, it needs to have make some noise, so they redesigned the exhaust system. So then Porsche did their own little bits to the exhaust system, and thus was born the Harley V Rod. And the newest member of our family, the Harley Davidson V Rod. The V Rod. 2001, and it was like the first performance V twin, the first big powerful V twin. You're goddamn right. Really waked up the world to the fact that you know you can actually have a V twin that's powerful. That right now, if I want to, I can do it. I can overtake this little Skoda. If I want to. Yeah, baby!
baby. <laughs> and I know my V twin, you just can't do that. Good comments. I had a good question. Did you do things that make me money? Stick in my head. We've got a lot of work to do. Someone help me. This is more important to me. Plus, helps buy this shit. V lords and all sorts of stuff. So don't take it the wrong way. You're goddamn right. So really, responding to his question, he asked me, "Is the iron 83 maybe more for beginners?" And do you know what? I had to think about that. I thought maybe, maybe. But then I reminded myself of that entire bike and I went, "Fuck no, it isn't." You're goddamn right. Now the problem is, a iron 83 is very rough. You can have fuel injection all day, but that V twin and the fact that there's no engine dampening at all, there's a hell of a lot of vibrations coming off that motorbike. bike. A lot of vibrations, and you notice it. You notice that as a rider, you don't like it. I never liked it. I was like, what the fuck is this? So you want to accelerate on iron 83, you try it, and it hurts you. Uh-huh. Full power. That has no power. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt too. Oh, no, it hurt me. Fucker. I cannot get on with a bike that intentionally wants to hurt you when all you want to do is just use a little bit of roll but the fucking bike hurts you and the thing is it's so rough and it takes so much effort to change gears and the gear changes are so rough and you have to use so much force and it hurts beginners are just gonna not like this bike they're gonna hate it and that's their impression of motorcycles that they're all like that because obviously as a learner I had 90% of the learners out there are of an age group where I am at right now, 24 years old. So, they're gonna be impressionable to a point. I am serious. They will ride that bike, they will hate it, it will hurt them, there will be so much vibrations. They'll picture that as the picture for every motorcycle they're thinking of buying is rough. It's horrible, the gearbox is horrible. You're goddamn right. It's not good, I think learners deserve, deserve much better to have a bike that it's good, considering Harley Davidson's technical expertise. The fact that they build motorcycles, they've been building motorcycles for a hundred years, for fuck's sake. And the truth shall set you free! You can argue, well, yeah, but it's only been the last 16 years that Harley have really started taking into computers and ECUs and Bosch and fuel injection and feeling ratios that are actually nice that don't make the engine splurgy and rough and hesitate Groovy baby! But Harley did um, though to put it, they just did a shit job you Can't handle the truth! Which is so sad, I didn't expect that from Harley Davidson motorcycles They should build a bike for the beginners because that would sell God damn right. Because imagine that, the kudos are saying, yeah, my first bike is a Harley Davidson. The cool factor is incredible. Incredible. And that will sell that bike. So why haven't Harley Davidson built a beginner bike for beginners? Even if it's like an A2 bike. Oh, you want to be friends, huh? <laughs> Wait a tick. Huh? Oh, that hurt. Oh! I'm not falling for that again. I see a lot of riders that don't drive. I see a lot more 650s and 750s, 250s than I do bigger litre bikes. That's the truth. So Harley do have a market if they want it. Through the highways and on and on, we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways and on.